Just a wee bit of a nor'easter. All right, we're in the Maritimes Museum in Halifax, in the small boat section. Don't worry, I'll tour you around. You'll see everything. Treasure. More treasure. Okay, it's super dark in here, but I wanna show you guys something. Do you guys remember the piece that I metal detected, which was like a big heart shape on one end, came to a point, and it was a square block on the back that would push into something? I think I found something similar. Oh, look at that. What? Look at this, guys. We are baffled as to what it is. It's like heart shaped on both ends. It's got a fancy design. You turn it over and there's a, a big square on the back that it would have fit into. I was thinking originally like part of a clock, like the pointer off of a clock, but it's heavy and I, it just doesn't make sense. And what would it be doing out here? Maybe something like that. With an arrow on it, course corrector, an older, cruder model. I stand by the fact that that piece is some kind of navigational tool from the 1700s. I swear. I don't know what we paid to get into the museum, so I can't tell you if it's good value or not until I know that information. I'll let you know. How much did we pay for the museum? Twenty-five. For the whole family? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's worth it. Twenty-four seventy-five. I was on the fence at twenty-five bucks, but this changes everything. Oh, heavy? <laughs> Blue Nose, famous Canadian schooner. Oh, the girls and their selfies. That's gonna be a schooner selfie, I guess. I didn't know that was legal in Canada. Well, kind of a spur of the moment decision guys, but I did it. Bought a little something something for myself here down at the wharf. Night Howl. Mine. So, while the wife drives, I'm going to give you guys a quick update on this Ford Edge that we've rented for this week. Four days into this drive, uh, we've filled up the tank twice now. A lot of highway driving. And I said to Carrie, this thing is getting the same gas mileage as my truck. And it is. We're highway driving three, four hours at a time, you know, 110 kilometers an hour, 100 kilometers an hour. And I just filled up, we went 304 kilometers and it was 27 liters. So that's nine liters per 100 kilometers. That's the same as my truck on the highway. So the Ford Edge, yeah, you don't want this thing. I also, for two days, I drove around going, I keep fighting the steering, what's going on? And I couldn't figure out, sometimes it would do it, sometimes it wouldn't. When you put it in cruise control, it, it drives itself. <laughs> I didn't know that. So, but it also keeps telling you 
to grab the wheel and I'm like I'm hanging onto the wheel I'm like I'm adjusting where my hand is thinking there should be sensors it doesn't work that way it's not a sensor you have to like kind of get I call it twerking you just give it a little twerk to let it know that you're still hanging onto the wheel and uh, then it doesn't beep otherwise it's constantly beeping and telling you to take the wheel I'm just letting Jesus take the wheel on this trip no backseat driving All right, this is home sweet home for the next three days. Ocean view. I think it's more like harbor view. Starting today at beautiful Mahoney Bay. There's supposed to be three churches that you can get in one picture. But I don't see the third church. I think it burned down. Um, I don't know. It's, it's okay. They do have the Oh My God restaurant. I think we're going to head on to Lunenburg. I mean, it's a nice quaint little town here, but uh, not much to do for the kids. Verdict on Mahoney Bay. Mahoney Bay Cemetery. There are some old ones in there, I can tell just from looking. Back to the 1800s for sure. I stand corrected, 1700s. 1787. Carrie just went in to get some information. Well, I say just went in, but like 20 minutes ago. So I'm assuming the little old lady that runs that is lonely. Care to tell my viewers why I'm not funny, Hannah? Because you're just not. This is what I put up with. There are two things I learned in this car on this trip. I don't like driving in Halifax, and I am still the funniest guy in this car. <laughs> That's my point. Kaylee's, she might take second place. Maybe. I'm glad I went in there because the beach I was going to go to is currently underwater. The high tide is coming in. So it's an evening or an early morning thing. So was the old lady that runs that, was she lonely? Oh. The joke was so funny, you had to make it three times. I wanted to confirm. So, Hannah showed me she just found one little piece of sea glass. And there's my first piece. Apparently brown is pretty common. You guys just yell if you see any sea glass. I'll stop and grab it. Oh! Yeah, there it is, I heard you. There is another piece. That one's clear. Well, there's my treasures for Hannah. 
There's some cool little shells in there, tiny ones. Okay, we're in Lunenburg. This town was founded in 1753. Apparently there's some sites to do some photography and whatnot. Let's check it out. Lunenburg Academy. And behind Lunenburg Academy is Lunenburg Cemetery. So these ones right here, first ones I walked into like 1840s. So I'm sure they're 1700s. There's another section back there that I think is older. Here we go, 1770s. Lunenburg was founded in like 1750. This is in fact the oldest grave in this graveyard. And Kino. She died in 1780, born in 1709, had six children, and that is the oldest stone in this whole graveyard. They said to look for her by the beech tree, but the beech tree has been cut down, so I had a little bit of a hard time finding her. 